Nice structure in the back end there, looks pretty nice. Had a bit of a tail there for a few minutes a little while ago. Not gonna produce a tornado, no, but sometimes you see that structure still there and it's developing every which direction here in Wells, so uh, it's just a matter of time before this area really turns next level active. It's, it's going on, it's growing, it's growing. Next level active, coming to the Caribou Mountains this afternoon. There it is. This is bad news. My God. Falling out right now. Anything can happen. Get on! Wow. I'll watch the video later. <laughs> They try mopping this. At some point here, things are gonna turn over and things are gonna grow up. Every direction it's filling in. We got more bubbling up. Convection is going into overdrive for sure right now. So just waiting for my time, waiting for my chance. Very interesting things are going on. All these small guys at the bottom, all these uh, alto cumulus, they're all feeding in to the base of this storm, which really doesn't move much. And if you look, uh, I could see really clearly the stack shooting up, but above us is the overshooting top. It's getting a bit of an anvil going on while these other cells are, are bubbling up. So everything's filling in. And I think, you know, the upper level's going this way, but these lower levels are coming into the storm. Uh, the time lapse I had there really shows it well. Uh, well, you know what that is? It's a recipe for a strong thunderstorm. Very strong. It's growing. You can see there's the anvil right up in there. Getting into position, just starting to hit the rain core here. We got some thunderstorms pounding in, just east of Wells. Got a radio on just to make sure I'm not going in where anyone's working. Up on the mountaintop, she's quiet right now. Going for a cycle. I'm not gonna stand out of the truck very long. Hair is not standing on end though at the moment, so I find the best way to understand a storm is to get up into it. So I try to go high up. I got some hot spots burning out there on the fire. But in the green bubble where they can't go anywhere really, so. And this is interesting looking stuff above us. Most definitely. And I'm doing my usual thing where I turn on the radio, the AM dial. There I got CBC radio playing. And I'm listening for lightning. Trying to figure out how much is flashing in there. Right now it's kind of quiet. There's one. We do have some hot spots over there. I don't think that's smoke actually. That is uh, pure humidity. So uh, that's wowed me at first when I first seen it. But you can tell it's different colors. And uh, rumbling good in there. I'm gonna turn the truck around. We got these guys bubbling up over here. They're trying to join in still. Cloud to cloud still, nothing poking out. Definitely happening out in the Bowerin right now. We're just waiting to see if any of it can really spill over. And here it's starting to. This is pulling its act together and getting more and more rumbly. This is my next spot to watch right here oh yeah still cloud to cloud rumbling through the sky no direct lightning strikes towards ground have i observed yet since i've been out today that's definitely right overhead cloud to cloud not angry enough to reach out and touch somebody. A heavy band of rain out there, just near Bowron Lake. And here, it's talking. It's talking a fair bit. Talking in the clouds. More of a rain event than a lightning show. I mean, I could change, it could start reaching out. But I mean, this kind of goes along with what I was saying yesterday on my forecast video that the thunderstorms are kind of helping the fire situation more than hurting. They're putting rain out and they're making for cloudy days and higher humidity. You know, all in all across BC, it's got temperatures down because the areas that are seeing storms are cooling off, right? So all in all, these cloud to cloud thunderstorms are Mostly just doing a positive thing for us. Uh, there we go. Like I was saying, these thunderstorms in the caribou are doing more good than harm. So, enjoy that rain. 
And maybe there'll be a ground strike or two, but I mean, so far everything's been in the clouds in this guy above us. He's not fully developed. And it's raining enough that maybe he won't get a chance to fully develop. We are about to finally get our thunderstorm here. Ah. And things seem to be going the right way for a change, sort of again. It's coming from a direction I expect to see a storm come from. Well, what do you know? Weird things can't last forever. A big precipitation core in there somewhere. And it's been throwing out sporadic lightning. But again, I have not observed anything outside the clouds. It's all been cloud to cloud, as far as I can tell. And a good dose of rain, so that's good news for the Caribou Mountains. Good news for uh, the fire that was here, is here, technically still alive. Wow, there's one. How close? Pretty close. Woo! Okay, well, still rumbling in there pretty good. That was enjoyable. So nothing real crazy today, mostly a rain event. We got cells over here trying to develop again, new ones trying to pound in. So it's not done done, but as you can see, this one has moved up into the hills and uh, it's done for now. Yeah, it's still talking in there. What a cool day.